Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the Seed ATL Don checking in. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is my first unboxing of 2018, my first sneaker pickup of 2018. And once again, I use Stock X. I've wanted this shoe for a while. It sold out when it first dropped. Luckily, I was able to get it under retail from Stock X. If y'all are not familiar with Stock X, you need to check them out. You can find great deals. Way better prices than Flight Club and Stadium Goods and all these other resale places. I think it should be the number one go-to. They also sell Supreme. They also sell luxury watches like Rolex and uh, luxury bags like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, stuff like that. With no further ado, let's get into it. I thought... StockX was based out of Michigan. My previous packages came from Michigan. So I know when the seller sells the item, they have to ship it to them first to be authenticated. But I thought it was a little strange. This one came from Arizona. So maybe they opened a second location. I don't know. Everyone knows I'm a big Jordan 1 fan. Nike box. Huh. I wonder if they're affiliated with Nice Kicks. This is where this came from. Very interesting. This is the Jordan 1 Fly Knit. The red and black colorway, a.k.a. the Breads. StockX receipt. It even shows the Michigan address here, but it was clearly sent to me from Arizona. Uh, StockX authentication card. Uh, StockX sticker. Got the breads, size 12, and the fly knit. I like the roll ones I recently got, so I had to add these to the collection. It's a super great deal. The authentication tag from StockX there. One thing I never understood is why these sold out right away. And these are still sitting. I just don't understand that. It makes no sense whatsoever. When you consider on April 1st when the regular Jordan 1 Royals dropped, they sold out right away. You would assume the Flyknit version would have a similar success since the Bread version did, but for some reason these are still sitting. I don't know why. Not sitting in every store, but uh, in the Atlanta area you can find them. Very happy to add these to the collection. My first 2018 pickup, the Stock X. That's my number one go to now for buying shoes at resale. If I have to buy them at resale, luckily I got these at for $145, which is $35 below resale. So I scored a W on that one. There's probably, I would say, less than six shoes in my collection I paid resale for. I know I paid resale for the Jordan 5 Retro Metallics. I paid resale for the Jordan 1 Chicago colorway. Uh, let's see. I can't remember what the resale was on the Supreme Nike Air Force Twos. I got those for like just a hair under a hundred, so I don't think I paid over resale on those. Those might be the only shoes in my collection that I've had to pay over retail for, to tell you the truth. But very happy to get these. StockX.com. Go check them out if you haven't already. And until next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, sign out. Peace.